Hey guys! So I voted today, and after I voted, I kind of got in a fight with a pair of scissors, and the scissors won. So these are the books that I have. Um, I used to have quite a few more, but I gave them away and all of that. I've read most of them, there's about a handful or so that I haven't read. So, here we go. Okay, so today we're talking about our favorite books, and I have a top five from the ones that I own, at least. They're not really my most favorite books, but they're the ones I always recommend. First one I'm going to start off with is the book that actually got me into reading. I was one of those kids who hated to read when I was younger. It was just the books they gave us, they just started really slow, and it was it just, I had no patience for it. And then, one of my sister's friends, when I was in fourth grade, gave me this book called The Hidden Arrow of Mather by Aidan Beaverson. And I fell in love with reading because it starts at a run, and I just love it. And also, it has a map. How cool is that? I love books that have maps. And it's pretty much um, kind of like a female version of Lord of the Rings. It's about this girl named Lynn, and there's kind of like two religions. One are the True Ones, and the other ones are the Ray Knights. And the Ray Knights have kind of taken over, kind of like the Fire Nation, you know, and trying to dominate everything. And if you're a True One, it's like the Jews, you would be, you know, like sentenced to death and all of that. So everyone had to convert to Ray Knight, and you know, whatever, and then Lynn, she finds out that she has a gift um, that the true ones get, like select a few, only 60 of them, you know, I forget what they're called, but um, it's a special thing, it's just kind of like her journey to go to the hidden city of trees and stop the Ray Knights, and I just really love it. It's, it really is a book for like 12 year olds, you know, the font's like huge and whatever, but I read this like every year. I've been reading it every year since fourth grade, so this is my most read book, and I just love it. The next book is Coraline. I'm sure most of you have read this. It's the only Neil Gaiman book I've read, and I absolutely love it. It creeped me out when I read it. I was like 15 or 16 when I finally read it, and it just gave me the shivers. Sometimes now when I read I just, ugh. And I love the movie, too. It is fantastic. And if you don't know what this is, then it is about a girl named Coraline, and they always call her Caroline, and it pisses her off, which I can relate to. Um, and she goes through like this door, and then she meets this other mother with the button eyes, and it's just it's a fantasy thing, and I just, oh, I love it so much. It's kind of like a darker version of Alice in Wonderland in a way. Um, another one that I absolutely love and recommend to each and every one of you is called Smashed. And it is a memoir of the author, Corin Zilkis, and it is about her life struggling with alcoholism. Um, and this book has taught me a lot about the effects of alcoholism and how people get into it and, you know, all the horrible, horrible things that it does to a person, people around you. And it's just a wonderful book. It's very well written. It is funny in some things, mainly kind of tragic, but it is really, really good. Highly recommend it. Um, I love books that teach you things, so this is just awesome. John Green, Looking for Alaska. This is my first John Green book I've ever read, and I've only read Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, and Will Grayson Will Grayson, so not a whole lot. I really want to read Paper Towns, um, but I have to buy it first. I love this one a lot because, I don't know, there's just so many things. They kind of... I love books that open my eyes to different, like, views, or I don't know, but this one does it. And the turning point in this book was just amazing, and it's so well written, and I just love it so much, and it's helped to inspire my nano, and I just... ah, oh, just... John Green, I want to hug you. The last one is one of my favorite stories of all time. It's probably my favorite love story ever. It is Pride and Prejudice. I just... 
if you don't like Jane Austen, I don't understand you. Like, at least you cannot deny this book. It's just, oh, I love it so much. I love Lizzie and Jane and Lydia is a pain in the ass and just, oh, and Darcy and, oh. I love Pride and Prejudice. I love the A and E version of Pride and Prejudice, the six-parter, because it's true to the book. And I love that Hank Green and Bernie Sue are doing the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And uh, I love this book so much. <laughs> so these are the books that I recommend, and I really love these books. They're not all like my favorite because you can't really choose a favorite book. You can probably do so if you like narrow by genre and then subgenre and then sub subgenre and then by author and then whatever. You should let me know if you want to read these or if you recommend a book for me because I love reading new books and yeah, um, I'm losing daylight. Dinner is gonna be soon, so DFTBA. <laughs>